What's up guys, I'm back with another FL Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an AMA piano kick from scratch in FL Studio using a stock kick. So the kick that we found is uh, under pegs, drums, audio and kicks and it's the kick number four. And we're going to use this to turn it into an AMA piano kick from something like this. To something that sounds like an ama piano kick so first of all you need to know what actually an ama piano kick sounds like and an ama piano kick sounds like uh, it is soft it is lower that the pitch is lower than this one so that is what we're going to achieve trying to achieve using this stock kick so without wasting your time let's get into step number one so step number one you're going to come up here on the channel rec where the kick is and you're going to left click and you'll see this menu pop up this menu has settings that we're going to be using to actually achieve the armor piano kick that we want so the first one uh we're going to look at at step number two the one we're going to look at is pitch because we have to reduce the pitch to something that's a little bit lower. You know, I once talked to someone though, like your kick must be pumping. You must feel it in the chest. It must be deep. So we want the kick to be deep. And we are going to use the pitch knob to do that. So let me just play. That's the kick without anything. Now let's put the pitch on. Okay, I think I like it right there. So as you can tell, the pitch is now lower and the kick is now, you know, you can feel the thickness. It's getting bassy and it's losing those highs that make it hard and not sound like an armor piano. It's moving towards the armor piano kick. So we're in the right direction. So let's jump into step number three. Step number three is to make the kick soft. We don't want this kick to... Um, be affected when the log drum eventually comes because sometimes the kick is so hard the log drum does not have space to actually show and bloom itself and a lot of producers have been asking how do you actually make your log drum hit hard this is one of the steps make sure your kick is very low and soft so we're going to use this knob here it says sample start it's going to tell us where our sample is going to start playing if i just move it as you can see you can see uh <clears throat> the kick is moving uh forward which means that instead of the hard part that was at the beginning it has been it's now starting a little bit behind that hard part making our kick a little bit soft let me play it for you this is the original with the pitch reduced now we are going to move the knob or for sample start and change where the sample should start Okay, I think I like it right there. So as you can see that I've all I've made sure that my sample always starts near this white or grayish line in the middle. That's where its polarity is zero, which means there is no signal coming. So it gives it it loses that click. If you leave it somewhere up here where it's like high, you hear a click. The kick we have a click, and we don't want the kick click we want it to be soft so i'll make sure i always start where it is around zero somewhere there that's even better okay so that's how you make it soft so it's not if it's not soft enough for you let's say for the track that you're making you can always use these in and out uh knobs the in and out knobs fade in the kick as it comes that's like reducing its attack time and the out cut out the tail if it has a long tail so let me show you how you can do that so this is the in as you can tell the kick has gone quieter because the in 
simply reduces the volume when the kick is coming in and leaves it when it's going out that's what the in that does so if your kick is not yet soft enough you can use the in for me i'm going to remove the in because i think it's good enough so as you guys can tell this already sounds like something that is ama piano -ish. and uh i hope you are following me and you'll be able to actually design your own kicks for me i'm going to save this so let me show you how you are able to save this so that you can save it into your own kit and maybe one day you'll be able to sell it to someone might be asking for your loop for your sample pack and you'll be able to sell it to someone so if you come right here and you right click you see this menu and you go where it says save as and this will ask you what you want to save it as so you save it as wanted waves kick one so that's all that you need to do don't change anything else just give it a nice name and uh, i encourage you to give it numbers because maybe some other time you make another kick that will be kick number two so just press save and the computer will save and that kick now will become your kick and you can go and find it where you saved it and you'll be able to use it in any other song that you'll be making so without wasting your time this video was going to show you how you can make your own ama piano kick instead of you going around the internet looking for sample packs that you might probably not get or you might get but still not make you a better producer so i hope this video has made you a better producer if if it has done that and you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you guys can catch up on other videos that i'll be making in the future of this channel don't forget to tell your friends that there is a channel that's specifically for beginners of fl studio so if you're setting up uh fl studio this is your very first time in fl studio or you just wanna a, a tip that's gonna help your production better you've come to the right place don't forget to click the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that i post from me that's a wrap stay safe i'll see you tomorrow